Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video. This right here is going to be episode 2 on the Detroit Bill Bronco. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, removing the old steering shaft. Um, that part will be on the way soon. Um, I'm going to be replacing the blades. I'm going to be cleaning the deck, lubricating more stuff up underneath. Um, well, on the deck itself. So, uh, I had to do it like this right here. You, uh, grab this right here. Okay. Well, actually, I'll stand right away. not going anywhere I meant. Alright, so uh, I'm going to remove this front tire right here. Hey, Barbara. Alright, so now what I'm going to have to do is, is I'm going to have to uh, get up under here and I'm going to have to uh, see if this right here takes the bolt type. Alright, so uh, if it has the bolt on it, which I think it does, by what I've been seeing of under the gas tank and all that where the steering rod connects. Let me go ahead and let me take a look at that and uh, I'll bring y'all back. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna change these blades cause that bolt under there, <laughs> I don't know how, how hard it's gonna be to get uh, off or whatever. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna uh, take these blades off. As y'all can probably already tell, uh, that these blades here, they're mangled. I mean, they're done for. And uh, anyway, uh, so I got me a block here. Now let's try this again now. That damn thing is really on there. Mm. Holy crap. Whew. That right there really was on there. My lord. So yeah, that blade, it was, it was on there. So anyway, yeah, I had talked uh, to my sister yesterday, and anyway, yeah, she uh, she said, uh, <laughs> and I can believe uh, that she thinks the blade's never been changed. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna clean all this crap here off. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use this here. And I'm gonna uh, uh, go ahead, I'm gonna start scraping out the bottom of the deck. I'm gonna go like this, uh, however I can get this off. You're gonna have to hold it on the sides, and you're gonna have to hold it tight. Cause this one is tight. Alright, 
struggling to get this here off. Uh, and yeah, it's not going to cooperate. Uh, so yeah. Spencer, I got a question for you. Uh, how many attempts do you think I've tried to get this nut off of here? Probably about four. Alright, let's see if we can break it loose. Just push it uh, over. You're going to have to... Oh, sh I think this... That's five. Yeah. I think this nut is stripped. I think. Is that bad? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, you have to watch the camera. All right, you gotta hold it. You you yeah. gotta use both hands. Hold Jesus. It. Tell you what, back there at the back and hold it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna have to rethink this. Uh, so yeah. All right, so go back there again. All righty. Push that away. Push that. Push that. This right here, folks. Once I get this some bitch off, as long as damn my uh, spindle don't need to be replaced, this gets mantis seeds. So uh, it's about maybe two, two and a half hours later, I finally got the blade off. No, I actually had to cut the blade off. So now what I have to do is I have to take off this um, spindle and all that stuff. And the spindle, it's going to need to be replaced anyway. I tried cutting the bolt off. I tried uh, heating it up. Getting the last little bolt out. Now let's see what we got. There's that. It's all kind of grass up in here. It's packed. And that's probably what uh, messed up uh, this spindle. Where I got two spindles for that big chunk of grass. Now, what I'm going to have to do is. I'm going to have to get this spindle off. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, start by removing uh, these bolts here. Uh, I'm not in the right position. Alright. Oh, 
hopefully uh, these right here are all right. So let me get this uh, spindle off and let's see what we got. Here we have the old pulley and then we have the one that was uh, saved from the Craftsman C150. Now, take a look at this. I was trying to cut the bolt off and everything. Try grinding it off and everything. It most definitely has play. This one here, it doesn't have no play. So I guess we'll be putting the Craftsman T150 spindle on here. Make sure everything looks the same. Yeah, everything looks the same. This one here has a hole. This one here doesn't. I don't see a part number or nothing on that, but I leave uh, the part number to both of these here down in the description below. I guess let's go ahead and let's install this uh, spindle here. All right, so we got the um, replacement spindle in place here. We got it. We got it back in. Now all we need to do is, is we need to get this puppy here installed. So now we got the um, pulley reinstalled. We got, well, it's new to this rod line more. We got that on and what we're gonna put on there, a little bit of anti-seize. To install this, you want this high side to be facing up towards the deck. All right, make sure that you got the blade uh, on the star um, pattern shape, whatever. Tighten this bad boy here up. And remember, you don't have to like crank down on them like super uh, tight or whatever. All right, so that right there, uh, it's good to go. All right, it's time to move on over to the next side. What I want to do now, I want to remove these guards. I'm going to leave them off. I think they're pieces of crap. I was um, taking the back bolt out and a little chunk of metal that came off, which ain't no big deal. Yeah. Soft set over to the side. Hopefully y'all can see this bolt right here. This bolt right here is for uh, the steering shaft. I hear everybody on uh, YouTube and um, you know forums or whatever saying, oh, I can't get this steering shaft off. Uh, and it has a number three Phillips head uh, screw. Why in the hell they done that? I, never understand so here's my number three screwdriver and then what I do is is I take uh, this right here and I do it like that to crack this loose I've dropped the deck a little bit and what you want to do is put your crescent wrench over here Ugh. I would just broke it loose. Thank me later. So, yeah, here is the uh, bolt that we just took out, and here's this. Let's go ahead and uh, let's rip this thing here on out. No problem. Oh no, I just cut the, the gas tank strap. Oh no, what are we going to do? Yeah, you see. Alright. I see I've done that. This here. 
We'll remove this, this right here, trash. Oh, cool. So this right here just comes right on out. This right here just holds the gas tank into place. All right, so right here, you just pop that off. Let's see if I can break this sucker loose by myself. I don't see people on YouTube, uh, they had to have somebody to hold it. Good thing I put a little WD-40 on here, eh? All right, so uh, they, it looks like they had a little bit of uh, red thread lock on there. I can understand that. All right, so now what we need to do, we need to remove this nut and bolt. So now we need to disconnect the uh, ignition switch. Pretty dirty. And now we should lift up, lift back. Slide back there like that. Alright, so I've been having a fight with this right here. And um yeah. Uh, I don't believe it was rusted on, but whoever the numb nut was that put this on, they're a genius. And anyway, yeah, uh, this thing here's wanting to move. Anyway, yeah, uh, see, so I'm still having a hard time getting this off. Yeah, it's a number eight. So, anyway, yeah, <clears throat> started with a number nine then now we're uh here at a number eight this right here is a little bastard that's been fighting me or whatever so yeah you want to just are you gonna fight me now too i need to <clears throat> I need to get a, let me try this screwdriver. Slide that up off, all right. Uh, are you serious? Well, we can slide it out this way. Uh, we can do that. So, uh, here is the eaten teeth right here. That thing right there, that sucker is chewed. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna uh, stick this back on here and hopefully, uh, I got it the wrong way. Anyway, uh, hopefully uh, we get the part soon. There you have that. But we're gonna put some of this uh, Permatex dielectric uh, grease on here on the key switch uh, just to keep it from corroding or whatever in the future all right so what I got here nothing special <clears throat> just got that what I'm do I'm just gonna take just a little bit something like that it almost looks like uh, Vaseline but it's not. We're gonna add some on here. Uh, like I said, for corrosion and stuff like that. You can just put it on the terminals itself. Now we just need to go ahead and we need to reinstall this here. I'm just gonna snug it up. And uh, just so that you know, this right here is what the boat looks like right here. All right, you're gonna need a, I think it's a, yeah, it's a half inch uh, wrench here. 
and then you just want to snug them down. Well, actually, before you snug these here down, it's two of these here. It's like a star head or whatever. And that goes um, right back over this way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna install this here. Just uh, to hold the gas tank into place. If I would have thought about this, <laughs> I would have done it uh, before I put this guy here in. So I'm gonna put it about right here. Of course it doesn't want to act right now while I'm um, recording all this. Just going to suck it down like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up YouTube? Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, end this video right here. I don't really see any need of going any further with this video in the next video we will be adjusting the brakes we will be um, probably replacing the front tire I'll be putting a tube in it that may be uh, in another episode I'm not sure I'm still waiting on the parts and all that um, but anyway, yeah, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Y'all stay tuned for more videos, DIYs, unboxings. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.